A Carterville woman says her email and social media accounts have been hacked and the process to get them fixed has her questioning Facebook's technical support procedures. News 3's Maya Skinner has her story. For some, checking social media is a daily routine. But last week, that all changed for Jennifer Spence. Check my Facebook notifications on my phone and I was disabled and I immediately obviously wondered why and I went to my personal email and saw that I had just missed um, some Facebook notifications to reset my password. She realized someone had hacked into her email, made $1,000 worth of fraudulent credit card charges and took control of her Facebook and Instagram pages. My brother saw my profile page with my photo taken down and uh, the hacker had put up some type of Muslim type flag. The hacker's post violated Facebook community standards and now both of her accounts have been deactivated with no option to open a new one. She says it's even affected her involvement with the page for Rise Above It Bakery and Cafe where she can't make new posts. Due to the economic downturn uh, during a time like this with COVID-19, it's absolutely the, the worst time for Facebook and a, a company in their position to um, limit small business um, owners and marketers um, during this time. She's attempted over 20 times to reach Facebook and even submitted a job application to get their attention. Local IT expert James Mayer says getting a response could be a challenge. They're an organization with you know, millions, if not tens of millions of users now and if they made it easy for somebody to call every time an account was hacked or something like that, they'd probably have to have hundreds or thousands of people just to field all those phone calls. Police have discovered the hacker's location is in Carbondale. Spence says she hopes for more answers soon. I'm just asking Facebook in some way, let me explain my case. Let me provide you with whatever is needed to get my account back. In Carterville, Maya Skinner, News 3. For the time being, information about Rise Above It Bakery and Cafe can be found on the Southern Illinois Eats Facebook page.